Okay, we've got some extreme slow motion of a side spin serve, and I think that this may be one of the most important strokes in tennis, but perhaps equally the least understood stroke. I think there's lots of people I hear that assume that side spin is when you curve around the ball, and I see them finish with a wrist in just a hideous position. And then I hear other people talk about pronation, and I don't really think that works either. It seems to me that what we see in slow motion, and what I can try to put into some simple words, is that to hit side spin, you lead with the racket on edge. It has to be leading on edge. And to hit side spin, you simply hit the side of the ball. And this would just, just be like shooting pool and trying to get English on a cue ball. You've got to hit the side of the tennis ball. But, but, here's the caveat. This is why it's so darn hard to get a good spin serve, including the grip who's working with the cameraman right now, is that many players square the racket at impact. And so now you're hitting the back of the ball, and this has got to be a flat hit. And so, to me, the images you have are leading with the edge and hitting the side of the ball and then releasing the racket rather than releasing the racket head early. And hopefully many of you have asked to see some slow-mo. Perhaps this may help you, but I can never encourage people enough to work on a spin serve. And in the project through the Building the Serve Network, most people tell me they've got a spin serve and very few actually have it when we look at the footage. And I think if you learn to curve that serve, that ball drops down from curve, it opens the court from curve, and what you're trying to do is hit the side of the ball, leading with the racket on edge. Side spin, the guy in the demo has got a wicked side spin, and you can have one too. So we've had quite a number of questions about the continuing work on the side spin serve. And specifically, we've been asked about doing some detailed slow motion, and so I think we can present that for you. The trick on these serves is really that you're trying to get a side spin swing path. And what happens is the racket is actually giving the ball a glancing blow. As the ball comes into the air, we're going to slow this thing way down and now go frame by frame. Now what's interesting in this one is this server is pretty darn good and what you see is the ball is hesitating in the air. Vic Braden likes this because it's like waiting to be hit. But here's your first key as this racket gets closer. It approaches the ball on edge and you've got to see this and feel it and learn how to do it. The racket is not flat and facing the ball, it's on edge. Still on edge. And now it starts to diverge slightly out towards the right net post. So at this moment, we're simply hitting the side of the ball and creating good old English. I'm not sure what the English call that. But now if you look, the arms turn fully out. So now we're going to play it at regular speed yet again, and you'll see the same thing a little bit faster. But as you work on this, your keys are to lead with the racket on edge and to swing off line. Nothing about peeling the orange, nothing about snapping the wrist leading with the edge of the racket and swinging offline. And you too can serve the ball with English. Said another way, you can make this ball spin. And once making the ball spin, it will curve down and into the court. And you got it.